Oh, don't know how well you can see that, but that is still mega red. So it's had that uh, poly filter, filter, extra filter, clarifying filter, in for about a day now. This has been no lights on, so you can see it's not the light that's causing the colour. The wool hasn't really discoloured at all. It's just this weird red colour. It's not a tannin colour. I'm saying the word colour a lot. <laughs> so. Got myself a tub of activated filter carbon. Stuck half of it in a bag. And I'm going to replace it. In that filter, well, I'll we'll stuff the bag of carbon in there, and then put the wool in behind it, and we'll see how we get on. Carbon in a bag, filter bag's always useful. I'm gonna stick it in this bucket and give it a bit of a rinse through with some of the water just to get the dust off. So you can see that pretty instantly turns that very black and cloudy. It's not too bad actually. So now we'll get that filter out and stick the filter bag in it. Uh, if I remember where I plugged it in. So we pull this out again. The bit where it concentrated most of the filtration of light is obviously at the neck. It's a literal bottleneck. And after 24 hours, it's barely discolored at all. So, poly wool on its own is not helping. Uh, I know someone suggested in the comments of the last video some really fine micron uh, filter pads. Great idea, couldn't agree more. But not got any of them, so we'll try the carbon. So, got that rinsed out, just gonna stick that straight in there. Then can I use this as a fatten at the back? It's kind of half carbon, half filter bill, so that should be fine. I'll just use this same bit again to make sure I get a tight seal around here. Just a thin covering, hold it over the end of the filter, the pump, and then that kind of holds that securely in place. So we can now put this in the tank. trusty clips to clip the cable to the top to the racing. Let it sink a little. And turn the power back on. With dry hands so as not to electrocute myself. There it is, comes on. So, not pretty, because you've got a big thing in the middle of your tank. And extra wires where you don't need them. But hopefully, it'll be effective. So, we'll come along in a while and see if it's made any difference. There we go, 24 hours later. I think you'll agree, that's a hell of a lot clearer. Um, if I didn't know any better, I would say that was completely cleared up, but I can still possibly see the slightest of tinges. So I'll probably leave carbon in this tank for a while to let it clear up completely, but right now I think that's pretty much done the trick. I'll turn this light off so you can see um, in exactly the same conditions. So that's it in the same conditions as we started the video in. Um, with the lights off and just this one little light so as you can see a little bit and um, like I say there's still the slightest of tinges but I think it's pretty good 
I think we can call that a success. So I wouldn't always recommend carbon. Um, it's not one of my favorite filter materials because if you're using it, it's usually to pull something out of the water, whether that be medications or something like that. And if it's medication and you don't change your carbon regularly enough, it can start to leach back in again. Um, so I think it's perfect in this scenario where you're trying to pull something out of the water and then you can stop using it. So I will keep using this carbon in this tank, maybe not in this fashion, so I'll probably take a smaller bag and put it into the internal sump and just leave it in there for maybe a month just to make sure that we're keeping on top of whatever it is that's releasing those red colours, whether it's the sand or the gravel or whatever it might be. But I think that's a success. I'm now happy with this tank enough that I can start to think about stocking it and planting it and whatever I want to do with that. So look out for that in the next video. And if you want to make sure you don't miss the next video, click that subscribe link, give me a like, share the video if you want. That all helps me out, that'd be great. And until then, see you next time. Bye.